Another approach that I personally like is taking a very complex source, such as a dedicated percussion module, and running it through the low pass gate. To do that, I'm going to borrow a gate output from the Mother 32, send it to the trigger input of our noise engineering, the Similis Iteritas, or BI for short, and let's just listen to what it sounds like on its own for now. I'm going to borrow an output and go ahead and plug the BI directly into my out. Now, when I trigger it, you hear these really cool percussive sounds that it's capable of creating. The challenge with this is that it's easy to start getting a little out of control of these modules. I mean, you can create some beautiful sounds, but you can also get sounds that are really noisy and that ring out a long time. I think a sound like that has a lot of potential. But the challenge is, is that it has a bit of a long decay and it takes up a lot of space in the mix compared to other sounds. I can work on reducing the decay or feeding through an amp, but I find it to be very fruitful to feed this through something like a low pass gate to now shape that beautiful impulse noisy sound we have to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and take our output again from the data copy of the output of our filter and now I'll take its audio input not from this oscillator, but instead from RBI. I'll start our sequence running again. Now we start playing around with dialing in a sound. Now that we have that vactyl type of decay on an impulse, we have a much tamer sound, something that has a lot more control. We can go into filter only mode, start playing around with resonance, down the impulse response. And create an interesting hybrid sound between this noisy FM percussion sound source and the low pass gate, damping it out very quickly. Again, the original sound would be like this. But shaping it with low pass gate sounds like this. Now we can have a lot of fun just dialing in sounds without worrying about the decay. This will control the decay of the sound. back into low pass gate mode. Again, the original sound would be like this. The process sound is like this. So that's another use for low pass gates. Pair them up with dedicated percussion modules to tame them down to shorter impulses, and you'll find you have a much wider range of control now over what initial sound you come up with, but tamed and shaped later by the low pass gate. If you want a longer sound, you can still just go ahead and feed the envelope into the normal input and start dialing in just how much release you want. Oh, well, there we go. That's something interesting. So definitely consider a low pass gate as a candidate when you go about expanding your system, particularly when you want to start getting more than one sound out of it at the same time. You could still use your core like your semi-modular synth for your main melodic lines, but then use something like a low pass gate for your percussion sounds or additional sequences and arpeggiations.